seems like you're ready, but I have to ask this question. Are you all in? Because I can't, I can't, so I you, can't drag you. Do you I have to define, that. Right, right. You have to well, define to them what all in means? All in means that if I tell you to do something, you're doing it. Whether you want to do it or not. Do you give them a chance if they don't do it the first time? Well, I find out why. I coach them through it. Okay. See, it's, there's different between if you're willing mm -hmm. and you're like, I don't know why. Yeah. I will coach you through that and we'll get to, mm -hmm. you know, where yeah. you need to be. But some people are scared to even try. Right. So if right. you're there, you're, 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 not you're not ready to right. do this. You're not ready to do this. No soup for you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. But right. if you're, you know, you're like, I really want this. I want to make this happen. Yeah. And like you said, when we do this work, you realize it affects other areas of mm -hmm. your life. Hey everybody, this is Garrett and Sita with another edition of podcast of our podcast. <laughs> idea to of invention. Podcast. We uh, are <laughs> idea to invention, a podcast for ventures and small businesses. Presented to you by Puff Cuff. Yes, it is. Yes, presented by Puff Cuff. So, so yes, and we are here today with Miss Quavi. Yes. Does Kwabi have a last name? Or do you use your last name? <laughs> yes, Kwabi has a... So, okay, so I didn't want to butcher Kwabi's last name. We're going to... Let her say it. So say your last name, Kwabi. Ag Bay Ag Bay. Okay, say that again. Ag Bay Ag Bay. Oh, okay. Just like it's spelled. It is actually the it's way it's spelled. Literally, mm -hmm. Ag Bay Ag Bay. Yeah. Ag Bay Ag Bay. That's it. Where are you from? Originally from Nigeria. Yes. Born in England, and now I live here. Oh. Awesome. So you got a, you got like three accents going on, don't you? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it depends on who she's around the longest, to what it's you so pick up. And so, right. it, so how, really? long, how long have you been here in the States? I've, well, in the States, I've been here since 93. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you, yeah. You, you pretty much... From the but <laughs> were you, did you grow up in the UK? Yes, yeah, so I was born in the UK, uh -huh. went back to England for Midland High School, then went back to England for college, and then moved to the States after college. Okay, so what, bring, what brought you to the States? Work. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. That, makes that sense. was it. Yeah. Because otherwise, no, we haven't been to the UK, but we'll be there probably next year. In 2021? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, perfect. Nice. nice. Yeah. But uh, read Miss. Agbe Ekbe, right? Yes. yes. Kwabi Agbe Ekbe. Uh, read her bio for us, I please. will, I will. Uh, Kwabi is a certified um, uh, weight coach, life coach, and a retreat creator uh, that helps successful women in midlife manage their health, mindset, and waistlines. She mm. uses her coaching programs and retreats. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why'd you have to say mm? Because, <laughs> you know, because that's been an issue of mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't because right. you want to talk to her. That's what that was. Oh, okay. she wasn't here? Oh, no, that's she, why. See, yes. Oh, okay. Right. See, she that's knew. It. Oh, right. Okay. She oh. knew. I will continue. Thank <laughs> you. She uses her coaching programs and retreats to help and inspire women all over the world to transform their lives and bodies. And in the process, women experience a new lease on life. She offers luxury retreats and events to inspire women to transform their lives and bodies. Her signature event, The Simple, Simply Vibrant Life, is a seven-day international luxury retreat, which she has hosted in Thailand and Morocco and Bali. The Simple Vibrant Life is an empowering, educational, and fun global retreat for women. Her next retreat will take place in Greece. She received her uh, BS in Information Technology from the Thames Valley University in the United Kingdom and obtained her Master's in Medical Informatics degree from Northwestern University in Chicago. Mm, hometown. hometown. <laughs> Kwavi is a wife and mother of two teenage boys. Mm. She's a blogger with the Huffington Post and Thrive and has been featured on CBS, NBC, Best Self Magazine, and the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Let's welcome Black Kwavi. Black Magic. Hey. <laughs> Hi. This is awesome. Thank you. So, okay, before we get to how I booked the next, you know, <laughs> the book next going to write, yeah. how I book, <laughs> right, right, how I get my Grease ticket, yeah. let's go ahead and start from the beginning. Like, okay. Okay, so just tell us where you, how the whole diet concept came from and, okay. you know. Well, for me, what happened was I was in college, came home one evening, was flipping through the channels. Back then, they only had four channels in the UK. 
So I was flipping through, stumbled upon a documentary about cattle. And it was showcasing how meat gets to our table. Oh, mm. God. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the conditions in which the cows were in was deplorable. And there, there and then, I was 19 at the time, there and then I made a decision I wasn't going to eat meat anymore. I was like, done. And it put me on this path where I started investigating every single thing I put into my mouth. Just, mm. you know, it's like, what do I eat? You know, what is all of this? And then I would read ingredients. And I had no one to really guide me. Yeah. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this. So I did. And my, I was in college at the time. My friends thought I was crazy. But you know the strange thing? Now they're like, I wish I'd listened to <laughs> right, you. Right, 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 right. And I was like, you know, so I would do the, these different things. And then they would start asking me like, oh, can you, you know, I, they could notice a difference in me. And they're mm -hmm. like, I'd, I like what you're doing. Can you help me? Mm -hmm. So I'd do these different meal plans for them and they would get results. But then I was in college and I was doing IT. So, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to school and just yeah. do. So I kept doing my path. But on the side, I would do these different things. And mm -hmm. then seven years ago, I decided, okay, you know what? I'm going to go full blown into this. Went and got certified, and you know, Quavi.com was born. Wow! So when you say you got certified, how, what is that? What's certified weight coach and life coach. Okay. Yeah. So tell us more about that. So I decided that I wanted to know more about how I could help women. I wanted to know the business aspect. I also wanted to know the coaching aspect, and I wanted to know both the weight loss coaching and the life because I felt that those kind of intertwined. So I went on. I went to um, the life coach school. And I became certified. So there's a six month program you go through. I went through that and then I became certified that and then started seeing clients. But it gave me the framework in which I could see my clients. And one of the amazing things that I love about coaching that I also share with my clients in addition to the weight loss strategy is learning how to manage their minds. I think that is mm. key. Mm -hmm. Without that, it's like you're gonna stumble and fall mm -hmm. a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. But with the mind management, that's just like the magic piece that just mm -hmm. puts it all together. Mm -hmm. So, okay, because that just leads right in. Okay, so tell us the ins and outs or the intricacies of the, the mind management. Well, the, mind, the brain is designed for three things. This is what the mind does. The mind seeks pleasure, mm -hmm. avoids pain, and wants to be efficient, which means if you decide to do anything new, your brain is going to say, hold up, mm -hmm. no. Let's stay in this little corner here. Yeah. We're used to this. Don't go anywhere. And that's why some people say, oh, they don't have self-discipline or, or they have a sweet tooth. They can't. I'm like, that's not what it is. It's your brain. Mm -hmm. Challenge your brain when those questions come up like you can't do this because... Like, for instance, when you start something new, your brain is going to come up with evidence on a silver platter telling you, you can't do this because you've never done it before. <laughs> and most times people are like, oh, yeah, that's true. I can't do that. But the thing is, when we really think about it, we've done a lot of things we've never done before. Yeah. Right, right. For instance, oh, yeah. when you get married, yeah. you've never first done that time, before. at least. Yeah. You've, never done <laughs> <laughs> you've never done it before. When you have kids, you've never done it before, but mm -hmm. you still do it. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the things that really match and will help us grow, yeah. we kind of like, oh, no, I've never done that before. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know? So, so with give, without giving too in many of your secrets uh -huh. away, so... Where does it start with a client? I mean, what, how do you, I mean, how did, first of all, when they're, do you seek them or they seek you? Like, do you, do you are you someplace? Mm. I can see you be like, mm, that girl needs some help. <laughs> 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 and then you accidentally just drop a card in front of her or something like that. So but how does that process kind of Well, work? the process works. Sometimes they find me. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes there's referral based. Or sometimes I seek them out. When I say seek them out, I am writing blogs. I do ads on Facebook. So mm -hmm. I find a way to kind of connect with them. Mm -hmm. And then once I connect with them, then I start the conversation. And the conversation really begins with, where are you now and mm -hmm. where do you want to go? Like, you've been doing these different things. They haven't gotten you the results you want. So yes. let's get you to the results that you want. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mm -hmm. I always say that weight loss is a series of decisions that you make every day. And it just means that the decisions you're making are not giving you the results that you want. So let's mm -hmm. change that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's typically what I do. So um, What's your typical demographic? What do you see? What commonalities and what? Um, so for a lot of the women that I work with, because I'm 52, so most of the women I work with are in my age range. So 50 and over, typically. Okay. And for a lot of them, they, okay, so there are two groups. They, they fall into two buckets. The ones who have been overweight for so long and want to make a change. And mm -hmm. then there, there's some that all of a sudden, they've been doing the same thing they've been doing for years, 
all of a sudden they're gaining weight. Mm. And that typically is like a hormonal issue. Mm-hmm. So, but both of them get the same results if they do follow my plan, follow mm-hmm. the program, do what I tell them to do. And, and it's hard for humans to do that sometimes. And, mm. like, and then I also encourage them never to quit on themselves. Because mm. that's what we do. Yeah. Well, that's what we don't get the results, we quit on ourselves. And I'm like, you might get to a point where you might plateau. That's okay. Let's see what we can learn during that process. We'll make tweaks and changes. You'll get the result that you want, but you have to be willing mm-hmm. to be uncomfortable during that period. But we'll keep going and you will get the result that you want. And humans, we don't like that. We kind of uncomfortable. We kind of want to move on. Like mm-hmm. it's not working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how, how do you um, tailor the program? I can't imagine that every woman is the same, right? Yeah. And so your programs are pretty much custom to yes. that woman. So with that, yeah, I guess without giving away your secrets, how do you step through to identify, like, for example, if you were to consult with CETA, say, okay, well, let's go through these things and I can help you figure out what your meal plan should be, what your exercise regimen should be and so forth mm. and so on. So what I typically, I work a lot with women one-on-one. Okay. And I like that because that gives me an opportunity to kind of figure out. Now, I've done groups, like when COVID hit, I had a lot of people like, let's do something. So I mm-hmm. did like group, but <coughs> typically I do one-on-one. And I go through what's working for you and what's not working and what you've done in the past mm-hmm. to try and get you to this, mm-hmm. you know, to get you to your goal. And based on that, we determine, like, People always ask, like, what, what am I supposed to eat? I'm like, it's not about that. What I want to know from you is, what have you been eating? Mm. And then we now tailor it around trash. your lifestyle. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't think everything is trash. I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> but then that's where we start from, because a lot of people are like, oh, tell me what to eat. I'm like, it's not about telling you what to eat. Yeah. I like for, for the program to work for your lifestyle, mm-hmm. as opposed to changing everything completely humans don't do well with that. Right. So I like to figure, and besides, you know, some people eat certain things based on their culture or religion. So I don't take all of that out. I want to see what you're eating first and then we tweak it. And one of the things I always like to ask my client is, what are you eating? When are you eating? Mm. And where? So those those are questions that are really important because those can determine whether you're gaining or losing weight. Mm. Um, And the other thing too I talk about with my clients is, Overeating causes weight gain. We all know that. Mm -hmm. But the reason why we're we're overeating is because of overhunger and Mm overdesire. Those Mm -hmm. two things all day, every day. It's like you can, I can always pinpoint when I speak with my clients, I'm like, oh, that was overhunger. That was overdesire. Okay, explain those two things. And overhunger is really about your hormones. Mm. Your hormones play a role Mm -hmm. in how you eat and when you feel hungry. um, Overdesire is all about the brain. Mm. It's like... I'll give you an example. So let's say you want to, you have a choice between an apple and a brownie. And let's just make believe here that both of them are 100 calories. Like you get a small amount of a brownie that's 100 calories, and you get the apple that's 100 calories. So you eat the brownie mm-hmm. that's 100 calories. No, let me use the apple for us. Mm-hmm. So when you eat the apple, your brain goes, the dopamine hit is like, ooh, mm-hmm. when you eat that. And it's like, okay, I can ha- handle that. Mm-hmm. When you eat the brownie, mm-hmm. your brain is like, ooh. Okay. Now, your brain is always going to go for the ooh mm-hmm. over the ooh. Mm-hmm. So, uh-huh. And the thing that happens is, so you get that intense pleasure. Mm-hmm. And alongside that intense pleasure is intense desire. Mm. And before you know it, it's a circle. It n- it's, it's never, cycle, it's like it keeps right, going. Right, 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 right. And that's, it's, so you, we have to break that because when you eat foods like that, yeah. they actually make you more hungry. Like the, the brownies, the cookies, as opposed to the apple. You're the apple like, oh, okay, I'm good. Mm-hmm. You know, but when you constantly eat that, Hence it's you eat like five brownies. You know, right. It's right. like, ooh. And I you never eat five apples, but you no, eat five brownies. Right. And it's, but it's the pleasure. Mm-hmm. It's, and, and people are like, oh, I have a sweet tooth. And I, t- I like to correct my clients. It's not about the sweet tooth. It's about your brain. Mm. Your brain got that hit and it's going to remind you, like, you want that again? Let's go. Mm-hmm. And it will provide that. It kind of gives you a little taste of how you're going to feel before you even feel it. And you're like, oh, I know how that feels. Mm-hmm. Let me eat some more. Mm-hmm. So that that's the over desire. Mm-hmm. And it's really based on the food manufacturers. They have been able to come up with mm-hmm. an amazing way where they know how to hit the different parts of your tongue your where tongue. it's highly yeah. palatable. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, I love that feeling. Mm-hmm. As opposed to natural foods like apples. And, you know, you just feel like, oh, OK, I had that. Mm-hmm. And but people don't realize it's about the food. 
and the intense pleasure and desire that we get, and we have to kind of break that cycle. So is there a balance that can be reached, or is it? Yeah, there's a balance. Like what I do with my clients, like I tell them they can have, like I always talk about the four types of eating, yeah. and one of them involves joy, mm -hmm. where you can eat for joy. And I tell them they can do that, because joy food is, in my, in my program, is foods that you eat for just pleasure. Mm -hmm. Nothing else, just for pure pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I tell them if they're going to do that, they have to plan it. It has mm. to be planned. And purposeful. Okay. Yes, because when you plan something and you eat, it's very different from when you eat on impulse. It's a different vibration in the body. So I tell them, you want to have that? That's fine, but we're going to plan it ahead of time. So you, we have like a worksheet where they fill out when they're going to have it mm -hmm. and also time and what they're going to feel when they have it. So, and the consequences. Mm. So they need to know that ahead of time so that, Going in, you're like, okay, I'm going to have this, this, this. Maybe I'm going to feel bloated. Maybe I'm going to feel a little uncomfortable. But it's something I want. And they do it. And over time, most of my clients end up like, I don't want to do that anymore because they see it. Because mm -hmm. your mind, <laughs> you're reading this. So mm -hmm. all, of, all of a sudden, you're like, can't right. do this anymore. Can't, yeah. oh. So I was asking. bad. <laughs> 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 As we cra as he cracks up in a Bud Light, <laughs> <laughs> no, no Bud Light. <laughs> so I was asking about um, you were talking about how food makes you, you know, mm -hmm. it's a it's a feeling that comes yes. at that mm -hmm. either comes after or you desire what. So and then I was asking, do you come up with a food plan for your customer for your clients, not customers, yeah. and how that kind of works? Like, can you outline? just like a high level outline of what the your program what the, it, it, all it entails okay so this is what my program entails um when they do that first week i normally tell them okay this is what we're going to do i want you to eat normally even though most of them don't because they now know that i'm watching, watching okay mm -hmm. <laughs> but i tell them just eat what you know just put the items that you normally eat and based on that are they we, recording it or what yes it, yes okay. they have to record it. they have to give it to me every week okay. everything and the, they have to put the times also so it's not just okay. When, you know, like, oh, I had this. No. What time did you eat? And mm. I need to see the subsequent. Because it's very in, it tell, it's very telling when people eat, the times that they eat. For mm -hmm. instance, if you're eating breakfast, and then maybe you have breakfast at 9, and maybe 11, you're eating something else. I know right there that one, one or two things. Either you didn't have enough breakfast, mm -hmm. or you're just snacking because you're bored or out of an mm -hmm. emotional need to eat. Because... Mm -hmm. Most people don't eat every two hours because right. they're hungry. Mm -hmm. So they write all that and they send that to me. They have to send it every week. So my programs are normally either 12 weeks or six months. Okay. And I do that because that's when you're able to really get what I'm doing and able to form those habits that you can continue for life. Because my goal with my clients is I want them to lose weight for life. Mm -hmm. I don't want them coming back. You don't back. want to come back. No, right, 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 no, right. This is it. Like mm -hmm. you learn it, you get it, and you're good. Mm -hmm. um, so when they come in, we do that first intake for the first week just to get an idea of how they eat mm -hmm. and based on that we come up with a food protocol now they're highly involved in this because I want this to be something that they're vested in mm -hmm. I don't tell people what to eat I just help them call I just help them create based on what they already have okay um, and one of the things I do with my clients is we take a sugar and flour gone we take mm -hmm. that out and the reason why we do that is sugar and flour especially sugar actually both of them really both of them affect our hunger. Mm. Like sugar and flour will make you eat more than you normally would eat. Mm. So we take that out. Um, and then from the jump. We take that from, yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> okay, and so then, just give me some examples of sugar and flour that you take sugar out. Sugar is in everything. I so know, that's what I'm saying. It's flour, like, how do you do? It, yeah, so we, yeah, so pasta is out, you know, that's gone. Damn. Yeah. And one of the things, though, my clients in the beginning, they're, some of them are resistant. I tell them, like, listen. We're going to do this. You have to be all in. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You know, and but when they start to do it, they start to see the results and they're like, ooh. And then the other thing, too, is for most of my clients, because they're older mm -hmm. and then the hormones are not in balance, mm -hmm. they've noticed that when they take out the sugar and flour, it makes a big difference. Hmm. Some of them, just their sleep improves. Oh, you know, wow. I mean, okay. it's just so many different things that they notice. When it, the other thing, too, that they notice a lot of that, but some of them don't want to give that up all the time. Some of them do is alcohol. A lot of them notice that, too, that when they give that up, with regards to the hormonal symptoms, the severity goes down, way down when they stop the alcohol. But so back to the uh, plan, so they, we take out the sugar and flour and mm -hmm. they do that for a few weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we start to pay attention to that. 
And like I said, we all, I allow them to have an exception of a joy food. Mm -hmm. So if they do decide they want to have that, they have to fill out the paperwork. Okay. And it has to be planned. And it's going to be once a week. Yeah. So they fill that out and it's like, okay, I can have it on this day. These are the the, uh, consequences. And this is the time I'm going to have it. So they can do that. So after two weeks, they do the no sugar, no flour. And then we go into intermittent fasting. So I also encourage that. I always, all my clients are on that. Mm-hmm. And it could be the eating window differs depending. Yeah. Sometimes we start okay, with Okay, say that hour. again. You said intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting. Intermittent, yeah. okay, fasting. okay. Yeah. All right. And um, one of the reasons why I do this with my clients is it helps to balance out your hormones. Mm. So insulin, as we know, is like the driver for weight gain. And regardless of what we eat, our insulin goes up. However, depending on what you eat and when you eat, it differs. Okay. So the longer you can fast, that puts your body into what's called the fat adapted mode. And fat adapted mode means that your body is essentially using your fat stores for energy Mm -hmm. as opposed to the food that you eat. Mm -hmm. And I like to compare it to like the fridge and and the freezer. So when you're home and you want to cook something, you can go to the fridge. It's, it's easier. But if you have to go to the freezer, it takes longer. Mm-hmm. So that's how our bodies are. When we're eating, it's kind of like the fridge. We mm-hmm. can use it. But the freezer takes longer. But the thing is, if we're constantly eating, like snacking, like that's the other thing I take out. My clients can't snack. We don't snack. That's mm-hmm. like, it's like I tell them, if you're hungry, you eat. We're not snacking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, because the, lo- the more mm. times you're eating, that means your body never gets any time to get to your fat stores. So you never get mm. into that fat burning mode. Gotcha. So, like, when we sleep, we're essentially fasting. Fasting, right. So what I tell my clients is we extend that a little bit. So most of my clients don't eat breakfast, their first meal, I should say, till, till noon. Mm, okay. So okay. they'll typically do, like, a 12 to 8. Like, they'll have an 8-hour window. Some of them have a 6-hour window. And it's amazing how our body changes when you give your body time mm, to mm. burn the fat stores that you have as yeah. opposed to always eating where your body's now using the food that you eat for energy. Okay. So do you have them, um, if they use that, that uh, 8 to 12, no. Yeah, 12 to 8. 12 to 8 mm-hmm. cycle. Yes. Their last meal is what, typically 7.30? Pro- possibly. And I'll be honest with you, the timing doesn't matter, really. Okay. Because you have like 16 hours for yeah. fasting mode, which is essentially the most important thing. Um, the other thing about all of this is the tips and strategies are cool, mm-hmm. but you know the part that people kind of like, oh, what do I do? The mind drama. Mm-hmm. And that's when yeah. I come in. It's like managing their mind around this because mm-hmm. they're resistant. They're like, oh, they really want to do this. I don't think it's going to work. And, and that's where I come in to coach them. Yeah. Where, you know, it's like, is this something that you really want? Where you have to kind of get into that feeling of yes and getting them to believe something that has never happened before. Because that's the tough mm-hmm. part. Most, it's like, it hasn't happened before. How's it gonna? How's it gonna work? I've never lost weight before, or you know, it's like, oh, ever since I've been older, I've had these hormone issues, and I have to come in and coach them on that, where they can now believe something that they don't really believe in, mm-hmm. but they have to find that energy. Because I always say that our thoughts drive our feelings, our feelings drive our actions, and our actions drive our results. So mm-hmm. you have to be on board on, on that all right. the way. Yes. Right. Right. So give me a percentage of the clients that that come in that really, how many come in and the mind part is what really needs to be worked on more than? A hundred percent. Really. And the reason why I say that is a lot of us walk walk around without really questioning our thoughts. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, someone will say it like it's fact that, oh, I've never been able to lose weight. You haven't been able to lose weight till now. Mm, mm-hmm. But it's like, oh, I, haven't been able, I can't lose weight. I'm like, I can't, can't lose weight just because you haven't lost weight before doesn't mean you can't lose weight. Mm-hmm. And those are facts. Like, they'll present it like it's a fact. Like, this is how it's going. And I'm like, necessarily. Mm-hmm. And I tell them to start challenging the thoughts that come up. Like, instead of saying, oh, I can't lose weight, I, you can say, I can't lose weight up until now. Mm-hmm. It hasn't happened. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean it's never, never going to happen. happen. Right, right, right. And then I get them challenging their mind. Like, they, they have to, like I'll give an example. Like, I had a client who I told, because one of the things I do is you have to weigh yourself daily mm. in my program. Because mm. I want to mm-hmm. track. But I tell them to look at that number as neutral. But mm-hmm. I had a client that was, like, scared. She was like, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> so I told her, okay. 
And she hadn't weighed herself in like four years. So that was a struggle for her. Mm -hmm. So I told her, okay, we want, what's a thought that you can think of that would allow you to at least maybe not be excited about going on the scale, but at least be neutral about it. Mm -hmm. And for her, her thought was, this is not my forever weight. And she was able to get on the scale. And so that's one of the things I teach my clients. It's like, come up with a thought that you can believe in mm -hmm. for this part, fit phase. And then when they yeah. are able to conquer that, then they go to the next and they go to the next. But you have to have a thought that's driving you. Because typically, your brain is not going to come up with that. Your brain is going to tell you, why do you want to get on the scale? You know that number's not. <laughs> right, right. And you're I not going to like this. You're not going to like this. And <laughs> right, I, right. And, I, and the other thing I coached her on was letting her realize that her weight doesn't define her. And mm -hmm. I gave her an example. I said, Think about Oprah Winfrey. Oprah has been less than 200 mm -hmm. pounds. She's been over 200 pounds. But Oprah is still the same beloved Oprah. Mm -hmm. She have, have, you know, her existence and how she shows up in the world has not changed based on her weight. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we think, oh, no, I'm this weight now. No, things are not going to be the same. Right. So we have to kind of challenge those thoughts and start to think differently mm -hmm. if that hasn't. Because for, for, for most people, that's not the way they think generally. Right, right. You know. I totally get that. I see the same thing. I'm equating it with hair. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you just haven't been, you've never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. And it's just changing that mindset. It but is. that's the first thing you got to do if you're going to be able to move forward, basically. That's, yes. And that's it. In order to grow, mm -hmm. you have to do that. But your brain is going to stop you. Mm -hmm. Your brain is going to tell you, why do you want to, let's stay comfortable. We're good here. Why mm -hmm. do you want to move? Why do you want to make a difference? Why do you want to? Mm -hmm do anything mm -hmm. and but that keeps us stuck though if we stay in that right, mindset right well i imagine that this also i mean working on this mindset when it comes to your weight this spills over to other parts of their lives it that's, has to that's it and that's what i tell them. i tell them you guys are coming for me for weight loss but guess what you guys are going to get tools that you can use in your everyday life from mm -hmm. your relationships to your career to your finances it spills over mm -hmm. yeah it makes total sense Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> she's <a> <laughs> yeah. You looking at me for confirmation? No, no, no. I wasn't. I was just wondering if you got it. <laughs> so, so, um, are you currently looking for clientele? And then uh, let's talk about how they get in touch with you. And 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 because I, I also know you said you have a six week, no, a twelve week, twelve week, and then six months, uh, six months. Okay, mm -hmm. I was about to kind of give us a glimpse of what the difference between the two. Well, really, it's just the time frame. Okay. Like for some clients, when they come to me, I let them know like. We're going to need six months. And sometimes, <laughs> even the six months, they come back for another six months. Wow. Because depending on how much weight you want to lose, six months might not even be enough. Yeah. Mm. Um, you might need more because time. Because this isn't something that is going to be like, bam, it's going to happen like no. that. Because it's a, it's a yeah. yeah, it's like working from top down or bottom up or whatever it is. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. It's, right. it's a lot of work. It's not yeah. just, okay, you know, this is going to. And things happen. Obstacles will come up. Mm hmm and, and, and for me, what I love about it is I like spending a lot of time with them because I tell them, this is life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Life stuff's going to happen in between all of this. And we're going to have to work through them, you know, during right. this period. Right. So, yeah. So how close do you work with them? I mean, are you talking to your clients every day or every week or how does how does that yes. interaction look yes. like? So it's every week. So I would normally spend 45 minutes every week with every client. Mm. Yeah. So we get on the phone. It's normally a Zoom call. Mm hmm. You know, so we can see each other. So it feels more interactive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They always have to hand in the homework like the morning off before mm -hmm. the call. So I get to see it and figure out, okay, what are we going to talk about today? And what's going on? And yeah, mm -hmm. and make suggestions. So I imagine with that, you would only take so many clients at a certain at a time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So do you give them on top of the eating plan mm -hmm. and regimen um do you also give them um recommendations for what they should do physically to a company okay so what i typically do is if they have already been working out mm -hmm. i'm like keep on doing keep on it on. and if they haven't i'm like just leave that one alone for now let's focus on your nutrition gotcha. because i like for them to get a better understanding and then when i see okay you know what i think you guys you got this because mm -hmm. our brain when we do too many things we're like confused Something's and we don't do anything. Out. Right, right. And you don't do nothing, nothing. good. <laughs> so I, and once I see traction and I'm like, okay. And then for most of my clients, I start them off with walking. I tell them, you know what, just walk. And 
I get them into the habit of making that commitment to themselves where it becomes consistent. Mm -hmm. And then once they have mastered that, then we move on. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's all about consistency when it comes to the exercise part. And I tell my clients, exercise is a gift to yourself. Exercise is not, because a lot of people sometimes think of exercise as, I want to do it because I want to get this out of it. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, exercise is not for weight loss. That's not what exercise is for. Exercise is a gift to you that you give to yourself, and it helps you. You can help you can help you tone your body. It can make you feel a certain way, but it's not for weight loss. Right. If you don't understand the nutrition, you can exercise all day, and it's, and it's not, not going to make happen. a difference. No. Say that again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <No>. Interesting. <clears throat> so, are you, okay, are you local to Atlanta? Yeah. Or, okay, mm-hmm. so yeah. local to Atlanta, but yeah. um, do you, I'm assuming you take clientele, from all over the country. Oh, yeah. All Most over, of my everywhere. clients are not even in Atlanta, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. oh, yeah. Some in London. Some, yeah. Some outside the state. Yeah. So most of my clients, because it's on Zoom. So yeah. it doesn't right, really. Right. But this ha- Zoom, you were doing this on Zoom before the pandemic. I've always been on Zoom. Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. It's okay. always been online. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, um, what was I getting ready to say? And how long have you been doing? Seven, about seven years now. Seven, seven years. years. October 15th. How seven. many clients do you think you've had so far? Oh, my goodness. Hundreds. Really? Hundreds. Oh, yeah. And I think about, I also do retreats, too. So it's like, yes, tell us about the retreats. And, yeah. So the retreats, why I started doing that was because I realized that women, we need that time for ourselves. There's but no we the never, self-care thing. We just never doesn't happen. do that. Mm-hmm. So for me, I said, okay, I'm going to come up with a retreat where women can go. No spouses, no pets, no kids. They can just focus on themselves. Get out. For and how long? Seven days. It's beautiful. And then it's all, you know, pampered. I get a private chef that picked up from Chill. the airport. It's like, you don't have to worry <laughs> about anything. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to think about anything. And I do it, because I, I always do it outside the country, because I feel that if it's within, yeah. they're texting. Somebody's going to right, 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 right. We are going away. Okay. Far away. And it's, it's just, you know, we get a private filler. It's the views are amazing. Anyone who has dietary requirements lets me know ahead of time because we get a private chef. So it's just, the be- it's just beautiful. And it's interesting to see the women when they come on the first day. Mm-hmm. They, you know, it's kind of like they're still in that work mode. Mm-hmm, kinda, mm-hmm. And then a few days later, totally different. Like, like they jelly. Are <laughs> and a lot of the women don't even know each other, but they end up being friends after this mm-hmm. because we do coaching during the day and then in the evenings we go on the different adventures. Sometimes we do like cooking on the beach or we'll, you know, we'll do a, a yacht trip somewhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, we do all So, how do we things. get on the mailing list? Hold on. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. Greece is coming up. So, so when I is have Greece, Greece coming up? Greece is 2021. I have two spots left. <laughs> No, you don't. Not anymore. <laughs> it's funny, though. You know what? Greece, well, Greece was supposed to happen this year. Right, COVID, right. So we moved it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, wow. and what's the deposit? Deposit's $500. All right. Deposit. You got 1000 okay. today? Okay. Like, literally, like, okay. the two okay. spots are gone. Okay. I'll All find right. somebody to okay. go with me. All right. <laughs> Yay. Yay. No, oh, yeah. I am it's, not. Because he knows. He's like, damn it. When she says it, and she oh, means yeah. it. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's I mean, so tell me what month is it? It's September. Oh, good. So we'll be yeah. over ditch the band and everything. Yeah. After your birthday, I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. The boy will be in school by then. We will have dropped him off somewhere. Them. Something. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, hey, we'll see. I'll make it's, it back before the little one's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's just it's just a beautiful. Thing. I'm gonna have like a special photo shoot. I already got a photographer, a special photo Shut shoot. Shut the front door. And then we have like a um, like the last day. We have a special farewell party. Everyone dresses in white. So oh my giving, gosh! So just giving you the soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you said personal chef, she was like oh. done. <laughs> Drop the mic on that one. So you, yeah. um, what's the Tell me about the last retreats that you did. You said okay, you so I did Bali. Okay. I did Thailand twice, and then I did uh, Marrakesh in Morocco. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. That's yeah. real nice. That's real yeah. Nice. It's, it's, a, it's, it's nice for women to get away. It's amazing to see. It's like it's did like different people mm-hmm. from the first day to the last day. And yeah. the last day, they're like, seriously, so I have to go back and cook. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> so how many women do you typically take I, on the trip? Ten. Not more than ten. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yes. 
Oh yeah, no more than ten. Mm-hmm. You, gotta, you gotta find the, the, the right one. No, I I've got several. <laughs> I've got several. No, that you can... only got two spots. You... Me, I only got one spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, See who's the nicest to me this year? Bobby <laughs> <laughs> done stood me right, up. Right, right. <laughs> came and now, in. Right, and then they'll whip you. And now they'll take your wife money. off to Greece. And maybe I'll lose a few, few pounds in the process. <laughs> maybe. No, well, you no know maybe. What? <laughs> I know what, though. You probably will. Because you know what we did last year? was Last year was Bali. So all the women were like, you're like, one of the, I remember like maybe three or four of the women were like, oh, I'm going to weigh myself. Do you know that they lost weight on in Bali? Wow! They just did. by yeah, but it's, I being guess, in the yeah, and the I spirit think also things. too the food right. it was all natural, you right? Know? And right. we were walking around, and, and they didn't have to cook it, they didn't have to think about it, it, they didn't have to plan it. Exactly, none of that. Yeah. Got it? Yeah, and Got they it. just they were like, "What?" I'm like, "Yeah." I Me and Whitney, ten you know, minutes. Whitney, Whitney gonna go? Yeah. Whitney. <laughs> 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 Me and Whitney going to Greece. <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah it's a beautiful thing and i think women 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 need that especially women our age we've done so much right you right know, right it's like we have that experience and we're just like oh what can i do so give us just a price range of yes. what um so you know people can understand if this is something they can afford or not okay. afford or how yeah. do you do that so for greece because greece is um, oh you ain't got to tell about that because that's done oh okay right done. Okay, no we're great. talking about your 12 you're at six months and you're oh, oh sorry, you're t- sorry yeah. yeah so for the six um for the, the sixth month is six thousand mm-hmm. the um three months is three thousand so okay a thousand a month yeah so program. do you do a, a payment plan or yes, do you do i do okay. have an option for a payment plan where they pay. Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> i just stripe <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Right. Make it convenient, girl. Yeah. Yeah. And then they pay monthly. So the installments are monthly. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, I just want women to know that if they say yes to themselves, I'm here for them. And I'll yeah, get them the results great. that they want. I mean, want. you say it's not yes to you, it's yes to themselves. Yes. That's they awesome. have to say yes to themselves. That's a t-shirt. And that help them. Yes, yes to Say them. yes to, to yourself. yourself. Mm-hmm. And don't quit on yourself either. Because right. that those two things I'm like, and I always ask my clients, you have to be all in. That's one of the requirements. I always ask them when I speak with them because I do consults on the yeah. phone, free consults, and I say, okay, seems like you're ready, but I have to ask this question, are you all in? Because I can't, I, can't, so I you, can't drag you. Do you I have to define, right, right. You have to well, define to sh- them what all in means? All in means that if I tell you to do something, you're doing it, whether you want to do it or not. Do you give them a chance if they don't do it the first time? Well, I find out why. I coach them through it. Okay. See, it's, there's different between if you're willing mm-hmm. and you're like, I don't know why. Yeah. I will coach you through that and we'll get to, mm-hmm. you know, where yeah. you need to be. But some people are scared to even try. Right. So if right. you're there, you're, you're, you're not ready. You're to not do ready. This. You're not ready to right. do this. No soup for you. Right. <laughs> you know? But right. if you all, you know, you're like, I really want this. I want to make this happen. Yeah. And like you said, when we do this work, you realize it affects other areas mm-hmm. of your life. Mm-hmm. So it's like, think about this as a, just a, one little gift, but it spills over. Right. It's like right. the gift that keeps on giving. So tell us where... Tell everyone where to find you. Yes. So on my website, www.kwabi.com. So Kwabi is spelled K-W-A, B is in Victor, I.com. Mm-hmm. And there's a link there to schedule a free mini consult. You schedule a consult with me and then we talk. Let's chat. Because okay. I also want to know if this is a good fit for you. Okay. Yep. So, and then you get to know me because I may not even be the coach for you because I'm not for everyone. So it gives us a chance to have a chat. And what's the cost for the mini consult? No, it's free. Get out. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and she may not want to know, but I want to know. So your your retreats in general? Yes. Where's your range? How how have they been? Oh, okay. So it depends. It, it ranges from anything from 3000 to $6,000. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's flight, everything? No. Uh, that's just... The, the retreat itself. The retreat itself. So you have I to don't do anything about the flights. Okay. And the but you do the car to pick me up. Oh yeah. As soon as, I even send you a packing list of what to pack. Get out. Yes. We have meeting. We we meet like a few months before <coughs> talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even when they purchase their tickets, because I yeah. don't. The reason why I don't do tickets is everyone's have you know different Coming cities. Coming from different places. And, and all that some people want to use points. Some people want to buy business class. Some people want mm-hmm. just to coach. So, what I've decided is. You can fly, but you have to give me your reservation before you purchase. And I do this because I want to just make sure that the times tally up. Mm-hmm. We had an issue in Bali where the person didn't realize the time difference. And yeah. I'm like, no, this won't work. So now before you purchase, they go through me. And then also, too, I I always tell all the clients, you have to purchase trip insurance with a flight ticket. Mm-hmm. And then for the actual trip, 
I have insurance that I can provide for you that you purchase in case of anything that happens. happens. Yeah, you get your money. You can get your money back. So, yeah. I'm good. Listen to you. Listen to you. Is there anything else that we didn't cover that you want to cover? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I do want to talk about my event coming up on November 7th. It's called Now is the Time. Mm -hmm. And Now is the Time is an event I created for women in midlife. And it's an event to celebrate women in midlife Mm -hmm. because historically women in midlife are kind of pushed to the side. Mm -hmm. You see it in the media, Mm -hmm. you see it in the culture, Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, you're old. No, we have experience, we have so much to offer, and sometimes we feel, I mean, I've interviewed women, they've used the word, they feel invisible. Mm -hmm. So this is a place for us to be celebrated. Mm -hmm. So I have um, a couple of speakers, including myself, I have um, a lady that's going to be talking about, you know, how to take care of yourself, more of the self-care techniques. Mm -hmm. I have another woman who is going to be talking about being bold and being out there and just Mm -hmm. Shining your light in your own way. It's mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not going to be for everyone, but you're going to be able to impact some people. So when you don't shine your light, those people are missing out and right. benefiting from right. that. Right. And then I have another lady who's a sex coach, and she's going to be talking about sex in midlife. So mm. it's going to be a fun, uplifting, mm-hmm. empowering event for mm-hmm. women, and it's a virtual event, so anyone can attend. And where do we find the event information? The event is www.kwabi.net slash now. Okay. N O W. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the tickets are ninety-seven dollars, so you can just go to that site, click on it, and purchase. Okay. Is there a maximum amount for that, or is it? Nope. Okay. We all be there. Yep. Learning so qu- about sex. So qua- <laughs> <laughs> it was Quavi. It was Quavi dot net. Quavi dot com. Sorry. Oh, dot com. Quavi dot com. Mm-hmm. Forward slash now. Right. Slash now for mm-hmm. the. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Wow, that was that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Got me broke. You're right. I'm saying now that's fine. <laughs> like that's what she was meant to come today. And the thing is, the thing, the reason why I called it now is the time is we keep putting things off. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, I'll do it then. You don't even have. I tell women that your clock is ticking. Mm-hmm. We don't we don't know what's promised tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Take the step and do it. As I said, now is the time to purchase your ticket for now is the time. Right. Now is the time to Because you can always bed. think about a reason why not to, what's always. coming up. And what's right, this, right. That, always. Yep. yep. And I'm like, no, do this for you. So for me, I tell my cli- clients and their friends, now is the time. Look at that as a gift to yourself. Mm-hmm. Three hours is between 11 and 2 where you can just chill out with other like-minded women and learn things about yourself that benefit you right you know and, right and just carve it out time i tell women don't purchase a ticket and say okay i'm going to be doing this one i'm doing it no i want right you, you want your undivided attention yeah. focus on it mm-hmm. you know you'll learn too so yeah <laughs> look everybody <will> benefit <laughs> <laughs> are you in blushing can't, can't complain about that, no. <laughs> <laughs> i want to benefit <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is, yeah. are we good? All right, so I won't, I'll take, you can take away. us out. Okay, so Kwabi, yes, this was amazing. Sure Thank was. you Thank so you much. I'm so glad fantastic. you canceled on him last time and was here with, <laughs> <laughs> with me. And um, just appreciate all the insight and wisdom and what you had to offer Thank today. You. And hopefully, well, no, I will see you again. Yes, yes so right. <laughs> so just want to sign out again from the podcast of From Idea to Invention yep. with myself, Sita Lash, and my hubby, Garrett Lash. And I think that's it. Yeah. So we're going to stay. Take care. Be blessed. And be a blessing. Yeah.